hi learners welcome to the session and welcome to my channel data science university with mlb prasad the agenda for today's video is project 2 panda sleep code question type easy question number 586 customers place in the largest number of orders and this github solution link for this problem will be provided in the video description below if you want to join the telegram and linkedin page community for further updates and discussions please scan here to join the communities the links are also provided in the video description now let's solve together the problem which you want to solve see let us see the thing they have given an order table. you can see here one two order one order two order three order four okay it was by whom let us say order one by customer one order two by customer two order three by customer three order four by customer three now what is the question they're asking write a solution to find the customer number for the customer who has placed the largest number of orders the test cases are generated so that exactly one customer will have the will have more orders than any other customer okay they want who is the customer who has more orders and they're saying well, whoever the person is he'll be only one single person who is having this highest number. means two three customers will not have the same number of highest order so first one is unique they are saying okay so let me come here okay We can clearly see just give me a minute yeah we can clearly see that there are uniquely uniquely there are three customers okay first one is customer one first two is customer two next is customer three customer 1 customer 2 and customer 3 okay and how many orders did customer 1 make only one okay how many did uh, customer 2 make two which is count to one how many did 3 make order 3 comma order 4 which is two so who among them has the highest count can i say three so this is our answer so three is the person who made the highest number of orders so what we need to do step one step one should be what group by customer number and we need to count the rows because each row is a order so let us count rows okay can i say the highest person will be only one because there will be no multiple person with the same count as they mentioned in the question so let us do one thing step two let us order by let us say this is county ct ct descending so can i say the table will be sorted from the highest count to lowest count can i say the highest person is the first row so let me take the first row because there will be no other row with the same highest count. So first thing is group by customer number, count the rows. Step two is order the table with the CT descending. Step three is take the first row. So these are the three steps. I'll be doing it now. Okay. Let me come here. Step one. Okay. Let me call DF is equal to or let me write directly return orders dot group it by what i need to group it by customer number okay and what i need to do i need to do the count of rows so simply i can keep dot size dot size will be giving me the count of rows 
as you know when you do group by and you do any single function it will give only that function what are the count aggregate function which you are doing it but i want a grouping by thing also so i want to make it a data frame let me make reset index instead of returning a group by object it will be returning a table okay as we have, don't have any name for that it is calling with the default name zero okay let me change the name as name of the count table as let us say cd now you can see here our step one is successfully done okay now let us call this table as df only let us do the step two step two is what ordering the table by how we need to do it come on guys using ct and ascending equal to false From the highest to the lowest we are sorting the table and what is the step three i want only the first row so it is similarly similar as keeping limit one in sql so we got the final output okay the only row where the highest number of orders are there is customer three with the two but do i want everything no the output requires only custom number okay As it is a single column, it will be written as a series, but what I want output is data frame. So let me keep one more bracket. A list of column names is a data frame. Okay, let me check. Okay, it has been accepted. Let me submit to check for all the test cases. Yeah, our solution has successfully been accepted by all the test cases. We have successfully solved the question guys now if you want the code solution which we have just written right now it will be available in this github repository where serial number lead question what is the type of question the name the lead code link also your also will be provided the youtube explanation link and also the github solution link here and it will be related to here if you want the link for this repository it will be in the chat description go and uh, you can save it there okay and if you are interested in learning data analytics data science machine learning nlp computer vision generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below my team will be reaching out to you and for further in updates regarding my channel and anything which you want to convey to me you can join this official page data science university with mlu prasad the link will be provided below in addition to that if you have any questions or doubts regarding the problem which you right now solved please use the hashtag ask mlu prasad in the comment section any comments any comment which is using this hashtag i'll be answering them and clearing your doubts okay until then keep learning guys